Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host and host Rishvendra Rao. And today I'll talk about the cause vulnerability, which is also known as cross origin resource sharing. So it's a kind of mechanism that allows, or you know, basically allow you to access the resources from the other domain. So sometimes you know that access is restricted. So so that you know, uh, any not anyone can get the access to those details or data. So that is why that is restricted. So that needs to be you know managed in a, a perfect way or a perfect manner. So that is why cores comes into picture. So this can be done into two ways or two methods. First one is you need to look out at the request page and the response page on the bug zoom. So a request is being shared with the server, the client, basically request from resources from the server and the server respond with some output. So first you need to look out for a method which is also known as allow access control origin. So you know the request which is being shared from that region particular that region is requesting. So server would know that you know this is I know I can you know rely on this guy or this origin. So I'll share these resources back. So that is the first thing. And this other one is you know if a, a host is requesting something so that is also a one way whenever the response shows that header allow access control origin you can check out so after this uh, this can be done into three ways like you know, how would you know that whether it is a perfect way to move or not so there are like three possible scenarios you know in which a server would like respond you so one thing is that you know you would not get the access the request would not blocked one will be like you would get a header access control allow origin in which you would get the origin or the host name and the other the third method would be if you get star or null so these are the three ways you would get the response from the server so finally there are three you know perfect conditions which need to be matched how do you know you would be able to exploit that course when they're ready to come? So this is all about the course vulnerability. Uh, I'll try to show you the practical implementation in the next video. I hope you guys liked it. So please, please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel, Security Bar. And keep sharing with your loved ones, with your family, with your you know development guys, with the cyber security guys. And I hope you know I'll be able to upload similar videos like this and able to help you out. Thank you.